Welcome back to the Pokemon Sun Nuzlocke. Last time we left off, we kind of cheated a bit, and now we're here at Aether Paradise. So, because we're here at Aether Paradise, let me just check my items. Let's see if I have another item that works best for a but works better for a bug type. Uh, no, I don't. Shoot. We're finally going to be fighting against a psychic guy, so I'm going to leave that on you. Anyway. Intruder spotted! I'll fight with all I have to wipe you out! Did I mention that again? I love another theme song. The Aether Paradise theme song is really good. Like, I mean, the Aether Employee Battle theme is, again, another good theme tune. There's one thing that Sun and Moon did really well, it was the music. They blew it out of the water in this game. Again, they did a lot of stuff well, but again, the music? Fantastic. I can just leave you in for this thing. What does this mean? What does this mean? That you lost. Get over it. I was told to turn away trainers, whomever they might be. Oh, well that's not good. But I can still hit it. No, oh, that's just being cheap. I'll take a roar in this case. Throw for storm throw. Again, I kind of wonder why the pencil line aren't fighting types. Are like we're changed into fighting types somewhere on the line. Because most of their moveset are fighting type attacks. Awkward ring. I say pens are lying, but nobody evolves or has an evolution. Or, I mean, a pre-evolution, eh? So it has a mega form, there's no way it's gonna get either of those. Yes, mega, mega evolution is in this game, but, you know, so I'm lucky you kinda have to beat the game first anyway. Hey, you're so strong that there's no way I can turn you away. So there's a question of, is the Pinsir Knight even in the game? I know some Mega Stones are missing from the game because they're like special event items. And honestly speaking, I know the current like uh, VGC rules don't allow for Mega Evolution. But it is kind of, at least in my personal belief, kind of messed up that they have gone so far out of the way to un basically uncredit Mega Evolution. 
I'll crush you to find out what you're made of. I bet it's a bunch of stuff, including money. I have to say, I admit that was kind of funny. But I do think it was ca it is kind of messed up that they've taken they've almost taken Mega Evolution out of the game mechanics entirely. Like it's still there, but you have to kind of go out of your way to get it. And basically speaking, if you're a casual player who like this particular Mega Evolution, let's say it's the any of the starter Mega Evolutions, you're gonna be out of luck with that because no, it's not in the game. You have to go get it from a special event. I don't know if most of them are at the battle tree, but not all of them are, and that's what's kind of messed up about it. Even then, they cost too much, and a battle tree is really the worst of the battle facilities I've ever gotten in this game. Really wish I had play rough right now. this, how, and how it is kind of messed up that they almost leave removed Mega Evolution as a mechanic. Oh, prize money. I don't have that face if I lost, but I won, so hand over your money. I feel sorry for the Pokemon who have been used by, by an intruder. That is kind of a noble sentiment. He doesn't want to fight you, apparently, but he kind of has to. Apparently, most of the Aether employees are indeed good people. They just want to help Pokemon. They're just misguided. Now, saying that out loud, I kind of wonder if the Aether Foundation was based upon PETA in any way. They're considering the whole issues that Pokemon Company had with PETA uh, during the Black and White. Like, of all, of all the generations for Peter to actually get on Pokemon's case about, you know, essentially being family-friendly family friendly cockfighting, why well, not talk some cases? But they pick a generation that's specifically about the moral argument about whether it's okay to have Pokemon. That was just like the perfect time for all that stuff that just happened all at once. I'm kind of happy that as an organization, P does not even talk about it anymore. I mean, I'm talking about it now, but that's like besides the besides the point. I don't know. It's, like, I'm pretty sure they're still around. They're just not, you know, as talked about as they once were. Like in the current landscape, I don't hear anyone ever say, "Oh, those PETA guys, they sure something or other." you're an intruder, you seem to have a lot of skill. Eh, well, I'm gonna go to the elevator, I just wanna check around for items. I swear there's an item down here that you can only get when you're... Oh, there's an item. There's a rare candy.
There it is. Toxic. Just when I need it. Like, poison gas is fine and all, but toxic, that's where the poison comes in. I just realized how much this team I have based around poisoning people. I think I can literally teach it to all of my Pokemon just because I can. I'm going to restrain myself and only teach it to my dark types. And my poison types. And there's another fight! I must fight to reassure the Pokemon in paradise. I'm pretty sure they're pretty reassured, but you don't have to try so hard. I'm pretty sure I could have gotten them later, but you know, the sooner the better. You can't touch me in most of your attacks, but guess what? I can touch you! Anger point. That increases. Oh, dang, I have maxed out this attack. Thank God for disguises, am I right? What does Anger Point do? I don't see a max that attack, but I think there's like a, a gimmick to it. I don't remember how to make it work. That was regrettable. I guess it really is. I guess it really must. Blah! Why can I talk? That was regrettable. I guess it really is a must have power. Why can't I talk sometimes? It's quite weird. I only want to need to talk too. I don't get what is going on here. Why would any why would the Anthem Foundation be attacking anyone? The air is getting really heavy. I have to do something. Hmm, just like I thought. What were what were you doing there? Looks like outsiders can't use the main elevator to reach the lower floors. I was afraid this might happen, but still, what a pain. We have we don't have any choice. We have to go up. I, Faba, and the Aether Branch Chief. The only one in the world. I'm irreplaceable. And here you come back uninvited? Like you don't know why. You of all people should know everything that happens in the Aether Foundation. Is that right, high and mighty branch chief? Hee <laughs> hee hee, look at you. Living out in the world hasn't been kind, has it? But I'm still not telling you anything, and you of all people should understand why. Gladian, a dark one, you know why being a trainer is so great. Because when you're battling, it doesn't matter if you're a kid or an adult. Everyone's equal in the Pokemon battle. Ho oh, ho, oh. is that right? Is that what you think? If you wish to battle me, French Chief Faba, the man who was called it the paradise last time the fence is to battle a mere child. As you will. Why are you singling me out? There's three other people here. How won't you jump in this? Come on, how you can totally take this guy. He only has a hypno. Look how this guy has a freaking hypno. The creepiest Pokemon of all time. The one of the. Okay, the considering the uh, freaking hypno's playtime, man. That freaking rhymes. Terrifying. Let's go. Look how no one talks how to do that, you should just know. It's just common knowledge that that's the freaking Bugsy move. Dance or whatever. Savage Spin Out!
I... Yeah, you lost. Maybe next time should bring just more than a hip now. How, how could this be? How could this child? Ah, uh, look at you, Dark One, and Faba is real strong, too. So, as I said, Faba, you of all people know that know what I'm here for. Indeed. The world truly hasn't been kind to you, has it? Look how hard it has made you. If you're looking for Cosmog, I suppose it might be downstairs. Downstairs? Oh, yeah, Miss Wicke did say that there was another level further down, didn't she? What? What do you do down there? Well, if you must know, I've heard experiments are held down there. Experiments aiming to tear the very boundaries of the world apart. We're in a bit of a hurry, Fab, but a nice a lift would be nice. Why not? This is an act of kindness I do for you. Thanks for my thanks to my position as branch as branch chief. Dark one, how? If you're ready, let's head down. Are you ready? Don't make me wait too long. Yeah, there's not much we can do outside of talk to everyone that's here, but we can also blow up here and get our Pokemon healed. Pokemon needs a little help. Look how this is still an option, even though we're invading this place. I like the random machines that we encounter. Anyway, let's. Change up the party a bit. Now, Ellen, Ellen should be up front for now. Man, I'm like stunned by so much of this. You should descend promptly. I'm, I am being kind. Can't you see that? Sure. Let's go. Look at that shit even grin. Everyone, everything looks the same. I guess it's only been two years though. Wow, looks like a secret hideout. Don't get too excited, Hal. Though I guess it's better than freezing from fear or nerves. So where do we go now? There are two laps up ahead. I'll check the first lab, Secret Lab A. You two check the secret check out Secret Lab B on the second lab down the hall. Why why did you get the first one? Why do you know why do you know all this? Just focus, how can you think you can do that? Don't and we can't trust Faba. I'm sure he's already told half the foundation all about us. You didn't even answer my question. I know what's I know it's gotta be nerves, eh? I reckon that you're more afraid to be here than either one of us, huh, Gladian? Come on, Dark One, you take this. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, you must be scared right now. Let's buckle down and do this. I kind of want to see what's in these other two buildings, other two rooms across the way, but we only get this when we access. And we're immediately jumped. Intruder spotted. We'll protect our secret labs. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Think about Lolan Muck, it's tight combination. 
makes it really tricky to deal with poison dark. And poison dark types are a really tricky sort. Hmm. It seems as though I may have lost. There are only researchers like us here on the here on the secret labs. Looks like I'm next. I'll show you the power of Aether Paradise. Oh, too soon! I was getting over Ivan. I'm just gonna be very careful because that one's so close to death again. Faster, so Dragon Rage. I haven't done enough development work on Pokemon battles. Hey, I think that should be a priority. We're currently working on development of a new Pokeball. It is apparently to be used to catch Pokemon not found in the Lola. Foreshadowing. Hmm. How about, I guess, what you're looking for? Cosmog, right? If you want to know what kind of experiments we did with it, then you'll have to beat me. That's the best currency of this world. Beat me to poke my battle up to everything I know. This time, right there. As much as I'd hope! Oh, that's way too close. Just win, don't you? Honestly, seems seems like the way to go. I mean, honesty, whatever he said. All I can tell you is that Cosmic is a key. It's a tool needed to, to open the Ultra Wormhole. But I'm not good at battling, so I'm out of here. Just gonna let you go. It's not here. Don't even think about go getting in here. Me and Noel, we're more alike than we might look. We're both what we were made to be. I was just an ornament to my mother, wearing whatever she told me to wear, acting however she wanted me to act. Noel was crafted just as carefully as was made just to battle the beast. In this room right here? Another Zygarde right there. Or 
What are you kids doing in here? Don't touch anything with your grimy hands. The research is our life. I don't care if you're a kid or what. I'll send you flying if you threaten it. I can understand how you feel, even if you're working for evil. You got Raichu, I get, I mean, you got Macho, I got Vanillish. Oh good, actually, listen to why I sold them for once. Mimicry? Good job, buddy. It's not a practical, it's not a particularly original line, but wherever there is light, there is also shadow. This is another world that cannot be brought about through idle talk. Got it? I'm no expert at studying Pokemon, but I'm. I may be an expert at studying Pokemon, but I'm an expert when it comes to battling them. But the guys in Lab A next door, they're pretty experienced with battles. After all, they spent so long researching out uncontrollable Pokemon. Hey, focus people, where's Lillian Cosmog? You may have lost, we may have lost, but that doesn't mean we're going to help you. I'm not telling you anything. She's not here, is she? Even you can see that. Hey, Dark One, let's split up and look around. Maybe we'll find a clue. Can't see in there, can't check those cages. Aether Report, Ultra Wormholes. Beyond the Ultra Wormholes, the Professor Mo Mohan Moen discovered there lies a different dimension. By investigating the changes in mass in mass there, we can predict the senses of Pokemon like life. We've dubbed them Ultra Beasts for now. So that leads into one of the biggest fan theories for Pokemon Sun and Moon about Lucimine's husband's identity. We'll get more into that later on, but let's remember Professor Moan, the same person who's running the Poke the Pokepelago Islands right now. Eighth report, Cosmog. Cosmog is hypothesized to be a type of ultra beast that hails from another dimension. A dimension that we have named Ultra Space. When placed under specific, sufficient stress, it reveals the power to create and open ultra wormholes in order to escape from its suffering. We are now working on a device that will allow us to manipulate the ultra wormholes created when Cosmic is subjected to extreme stress. Wait, so Cosmoc might be an ultra beast? You have to tell Gladian about this. find anything? We learned about a bit about Cosmog. Like it might be an Ultra Beast or, or whatever. If you place it, if you place stress, if you stress it out a lot, it can create Ultra Wormholes. Maybe to run away or something. If you stress it. If you hurt it, is that what you mean? What is, was that why she ran away with it? We didn't find any sign of it down there. Hmm, Faber probably knew this would be a dead end. Darn, did he outsmart us? Ladia never really explained and brings anything at. Probably things things that make him look cool. Should we go after him? We got we all done into this together. Might as well see it to, to the end together. Yes, yeah, right, let's head back up top. Um so we got tricked by Fob and heading down here for almost no reason. Just to figure out some plot stuff. Dark one. Hmm. Even being down, old Fowler doesn't change, does he? What do we do? 
beat whoever stands in our way. What other choice do we have? Fine, fine, we can do that, but do you have to say oof all the time? Hello children, I am Breshi uh, I'm afraid Breshi Faba has given us orders to orders regarding you three. Now that you have learned the darkness at the heart of Aether Paradise, we'll need you all to conveniently disappear. Well, Dark One battle with me. Like how they freaking jumped us. Like, we're gonna all need to kill all these kids. We didn't even want to learn. He just sleeps the one that sent us down there. Guess we can have an excuse to murder us later, I guess. So you take Pelper, I take much now. Oh, the frame rate choked up again. How are we both tackle Munchdale? It is a pretty tanky beast. Especially with that stamina ability. I just made it worse. That's one out right here. Ah, that combo. Darkest Lariat! Dang, they are targeting house Pokemon. And the frame rate choked up again. There, get rid of Buzz Dale. Philip is giving up without a spit up attack. Darkest Lariat! I freaking love that name. All the names of all the world. Darkest Lariat sounds really, really cool. You guys are dazzling. Horribly sparkling. The children of Alola, who aim to be champion under the island challenge, are not to be underestimated. About time you got that point. Ridiculous. Have the children of Alola always been this strong? What? That's what you get when you go to the Chalice of the Island Challenge. Now do you understand? How about we get out of how about you get out of our way? Phew, Dark One and Mimikyu, but we're fighting a battle. You can't be afraid. You can't afford to lose. You really can't waver at all, huh? Let's go. You know. I know we aren't friends, but I'm glad you two are here. I remember what you said at the Battle Royal, at the Battle Royal Dome that day, Hal. About how people can achieve more if they do something together. Looks like maybe you're right. Holy crap, he smiled! The s Lord smiled! Young yeah, Master! Ah, excuse me, lovely woman. What do you mean, young master? It's been a long time. And hold to you, Dark One and Hal. Please allow me to heal your Pokemon. No, thank you for that. What happened to Lily? Do you know anything? I imagine that she's with the president. Then that's where I'm going. That's all I need to know. The president, Miss Lucimine, right? She's really a nice person, so I'm sure she'll listen to us if we explain everything. Yeah, she's real nice as long as you're as long as you mean nothing to her. I'm afraid the doors have been locked. Again? That's not stopping me. With all that, we have a little bit more to explore in the Aether Paradise. So I'll see you all next time.